Cruising through Sweden. Very tricky turns out here. You gotta be careful when driving down these small country roads. There's only like one lane as well. I see a semi coming up. Oh, wait. No. I, oh my god. That's an accident. That looks bad. I think I could have swore I saw a body on the ground. Could have swore. Alright, let's go put the hazards on. And I don't see anybody walking around actually. So I don't know if anybody's caught this in. So let's go ahead and call, uh, pick up the smartphone and uh, we'll call in emergency services. This looks really bad. There's like nobody out here in the middle of freaking nowhere. But yeah, I got a, a red car and a semi in an accident out here. Alright, ambulance is on his way. Stay on the line. Alright, gotcha. I'll stay with you. Uh, let's go ahead and it says turn off. She says turn off the ignition on the vehicles and then mark the accident location. So I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, man, it looks really bad. First, secure the area. This looks really freaking bad, man. Oh, there's a fire. Oh, shoot. I know I have a, stinguish, a fire extinguisher back here. Hopefully, that'll do the job. All right, I got the fire extinguisher. Run, 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 run. That is definitely top priority is putting this fire out. It's a small fire. In real life, when you're extinguishing a fire, stand at a safe distance and aim at the source. That is what I'm doing. Hopefully, I have enough in here to do it. Oh, crap. We're out. All right, would you happen to have a fire extinguisher in your trunk, ma'am? Yes, you do. Wow. This might be a lifesaver. Come on. I, I see a kid in the back seat, too. You guys got to hang in there with me. All right, fire is out. Beautiful. Okay. Wow, that fire extinguisher might have just saved your life. Uh, okay. Oh, they actually have an emergency triangle back here, too. You're lucky. <laughs> you guys were prepared to crash, weren't you? In most situations, put the triangle 50 meters behind the scene. All right. I have one in my trunk, too. I'm going to have to mark that one here in just a second. First, uh, they need me to turn off the ignition in all the cars. That will actually prevent uh, even more uh, electrical fires happening. So we'll turn that off. I'll come right back. I'll be right back, ma'am. I'll be right back. So check out the truck. Yeah, truck looks like it's empty, so that's definitely the truck driver's body down there on the ground. So he is going to need immediate medical support. I don't know. Honestly, like in real life, I, I wouldn't do these things in this order. Maybe this is the right the right order to do it. But I don't know. I feel like I would first go and check if anybody's alive, if anybody's breathing, and you know, remove them from the car. That's my first thoughts of what I should do. But he looks pretty freaking banged up as well. Uh, I need to mark the accident. Uh, that's the next objective that it wants me to do. So let's go do that. We gotta do it very quickly because uh, it's a very restricted timeline on these uh, these scenarios here. So out here in the middle of freaking Sweden. Gotta hurry. Alright, cool. What's next? Assess the situation, check all the victims, and check your exact location. I'm gonna do that first since I'm next to my car. I do have a GPS in here, so it'll be able to mark and uh, let the emergency services know where we are. It is not recommended to use GPS coordinates as they are imprecise. Use real uh, road names and uh, distances instead. All right, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, relay that information. Check the guy on the ground first and see if he's okay. Shake him here. Hello, hello. Nope. No response. Open up his airway and see if we can hear him breathing. Okay, I do hear breathing. He has a pretty bad wound here. Very bad. Looks like he got attacked by a freaking bear. That looks bad. It looks really bad. Trunk is jammed. Let's check on this guy here. We'll go check on the kid here in just a second. Yeah, his left arm is beat up pretty bad. Sir, can you hear me? No? Okay. Open up his airway. Let's see. He's got to be breathing. No, I don't hear anything. Wow, wow, wow. That's actually pretty scary. Alright, he has a pretty bad wound on his left arm. Again, I'm talking to the paramedic still on the phone. Let's go ahead and run over here and check on uh, the kid first, actually. Is the door open? Perfect. Okay, it thankfully didn't jam. And shake him a bit. Can you hear me? Nope, he can't hear me. Oh, man, this is intense. I, I do not hear breathing from the kid. That is very scary. I don't see any physical injuries on him. But uh, he's not breathing. And this door is jammed, so I can't get in there. See if I can reach through the window. and. Can you hear me, ma'am? No, she doesn't. Not responding. Take the seatbelt off. And we'll open up her airway. Lean her back a little bit. She got hit pretty hard, bad in that neck area. 
I don't hear any breathing as well from her. All right, that's not good, not good, not good. All right, we gotta help the victims now. Uh, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? I got a first aid kit here. Probably start with the kid. Let's see, go ahead and pull him out. Put him on the side of the road and uh, we'll see what we can uh, what we can do for him. There he is. All right, first aid kit. All right, so we need to get the uh, gloves first. And looks like we're gonna need uh, open up his airway. There we go, CPR mask. Put the CPR mask on the victim. And then we'll do some art artificial ventilation. All right, that's one. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. All right, let's take that off. Let's see if he's breathing, actually. I hear breathing. I hear breathing. All right, all right. You're not dying today, my friend. Take the mask off, and uh, we'll recover position. What does that do? Move the left arm. Ooh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's that's interesting. Put put him in the recovery position. Okay. Oh, move, 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 move. Open his airway. Okay. He is okay for now. He's stable. Excellent. Now perform CPR on the next non-breathing adult. Okay. I don't know if I can get her out. Cannot remove. We have to work on uh, my friend over here. Okay, he's not breathing. We got to perform CPR on him. How do I get him out of here? That was my question. Trapped by seatbelts. Oh, no. How do I... How do I... Oh, yeah. He's about to die. He is about to die. How do I get him out of there? How do I get him out? Uh, too dangerous to move. Oh, my God. He might... Oh, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He said he's trapped by the seatbelt. How do I get him out then? Alright, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can help her. Maybe we can get in there and help her somehow. Door is jammed. Uh, how do I. I need to pr perform CPR on somebody, but I can't get in. I can't remove her. Uh, okay. Try him again. Oh, there we go. Seatbelt unbuckle. All right, let's pull him out. We gotta hurry because he is uh, his health meter is about to be very low. All right, he's right there. Um, first aid. I have the first aid kit right here. I believe I still have my gloves on. Got a CPR mask. I'll open up his airway and get the CPR mask. Put it on him, and then we gotta perform actual chest compressions and start. This is hard. How many do I do? 30? Okay. New high score? Okay. Not bad. Okay, cool. Alright, now we can do artificial ventilation. Same as, the, same as we did to the kid. Interesting. Very interesting. This is a... Uh, check if he's breathing now. I still don't hear anything. Oh, we failed! Out of time. Oh, no. You need to move faster. Okay. Whew, man, I was—I thought I was going pretty darn fast. I right, hold R, and uh, we'll go back to before this last objective, and we'll try to complete this again. All right. So I think what what really killed us is the fact that it took so long for me to find out how to get this guy out of the car. So we're back here. Thankfully, as a flashback mode, we're going to unbuckle his seatbelt and we'll pull him out of the car. We have a bit more time now because uh, now I went straight to him rather than uh, running around a bunch of times. Uh, someone else needs help. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave him on the side of the road. Oh, the kid's still back there. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Let's help him out. We need a first aid kit. It's back here. All right, I got you, son. I got you. All right, gloves. Open up his airway. CPR mask. Artificial ventilation. All right, five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, let's check if he's breathing. I hear breaths. 
Nice. All right, man. You're not going to die today. Let's take the CPR mask off and then uh, put him into a recovery position. We'll move his left, his right, right, right arm, left arm, whichever. Uh, yeah, left arm. His left leg. Roll him over. And then we're going to move uh, his head. There we go. Now he's in a recovery position. Whew, excellent. Now perform CPR on the next non-breathing adult, which is over here. We've already taken him out of the car. Uh, cool. We got the first aid kit with us. Open it up. Get another set of gloves. Open up his airway. We got the CPR mask. Put that on him. And it will do chest compressions. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. All right. New score. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Now we need to do artificial ventilation. Up, down. There we go. Come on. It's one. Two. Check if he's breathing. I still don't hear anything. Continue CPR. And I think we just failed again. No, we didn't. Oh, wow. Wow, ambulances got here pretty darn quick on this scenario. Ooh, man, because I, I, there's too many people. I can't handle this. I cannot handle this. No, sir. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh, okay. Now for uh, the next phase. Now we need to actually recreate the cat crash and figure out how it happened. We need to actually figure out what caused it um so you need to gather clues and put the events together in the correct order so based off of what i just see before we even go and look at the actual clues based off of what i see um it looks like uh actually you see some skid marks all the way back here it looks like somebody lost control somehow maybe they're driving too fast there's our first clue uh changes lanes to avoid an animal oh wow I'm not sure how you know that, but uh, I would have never guessed an animal. I mean, yeah, you guess that makes sense. So he swerves over to the other lane, and it looks like at the same time, uh, most likely he probably hit a puddle. Nope, that's irrelevant. Okay. And it's like he sees a truck, and probably that's also irrelevant, apparently. All these are relevant. Okay. I don't see them as relevant, but I guess he crashed to this guy. Definitely crashed into this truck. Impact points right here. Collision with the oncoming truck, which is a really bad. Look at that damage. Really bad collision. Uh, look at there's some blood here. Blood stains also irrelevant. Looks like he crashed. The uh, Jacob ejected through the windshield. Probably didn't have a seatbelt on because of that. I don't know if there's gonna be any clues on the inside. Uh, and then most likely this car behind the truck was riding pretty closely behind, or maybe not even be that close, but close enough behind. That he couldn't avoid or she couldn't avoid the wreck Let's see if we have any clues back here don't really see any skid marks until right here so obviously she tried to stop it way too late or way late uh breaks and collides with the trailer so yeah just couldn't break in time she just couldn't stop in time uh which is pretty bad um do we have any other clues there's six clues we've only found four of them from from here though i kind of i kind of get the gist of everything that, that's going on though see what other clues we have kind of searching around see what we can find they do kind of help you out by putting little dots on stuff let's get inside the truck see if there's any clues in here seatbelt clue truck driver not wearing seatbelt yeah we, we actually guessed that earlier see I don't see any other clues inside the truck Let's go outside. It might be a clue in the uh, in the following car because it's pretty obvious what happened here. Let's check. Can we check inside? We can't check inside. I can close the door, but I can't open the door. Okay, here we go. Found something. A uh, footprint. A boar stands in the road. Okay, cool. So looks like yeah. So the animal did. There's a a, a broken fence down there. It's like an animal must have been crossing. Those are some massive tracks. <laughs> crossing the road. Uh, like it said, so now we just got to put it in order. Now all we got to do is go back and put it in order. So I'm going to go to and press F. And now we know exactly what happened. So basically that's what started all. A boar stands on the road. We'll put that in position one. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Uh, let's see here. Um, engulf changes lanes to avoid animal. That'll be number two. And then the impact happens with the truck. 
And then after that, uh, Jacob was ejected from the truck because he didn't have a seatbelt on. Or wait, is that the right oil truck was not wearing? It's probably the other way around. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do that the other way around. Let's probably put the seatbelt first. And then that. And then the car of Susan behind him didn't have enough time to stop. And that's going to finish the scenario. Beautiful. Success. Woo. Jacob. All right. So here's our Jacob Haroldson. After careful examination at the hospital, uh, was diagnosed with spinal injury. Uh, he underwent emergency surgery, after which he had to complete several months of re rehab to be able to walk again. Currently, Jacob works as a security guard at a local supermarket monitoring the cameras and will need to take painkillers for the rest of his life. Ingolf suffered significant blood loss due to a deep laceration of his arm by a piece of glass. Fortunately, your CPR saved his life and the paramedics stopped the bleeding. The wounds uh, healed quickly, but the glass severed, uh, severed several nerves and Ingolf lost full use of his left hand. The injuries were minor. However, he was able to function normally. Nice. So he actually survived. So the truck driver, who's ejected, lived as well as Jacob in the red car. Suzanne! Car hit the back of the trailer. Its bumper smashed the front of the window and hit her in the head, killing her instantly. Oh no! There was nothing you could, uh, you or the paramedics could do. She was buried a week later in her hometown. That's sad. That's very sad. Uh, after the impact, August Olander went into shock, which resulted in a coma. He also suffered several minor internal injuries. After the, uh, after five weeks, he regained consciousness up and returned home to live with his father. The accident and his death of his mother traumatized him severely and had to undergo therapy for two years after that and return to school. Man, that's, that's, that's dark, guys. <laughs> that's freaking dark. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know what... What, what interested me in trying to play it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. We're gonna do one more scenario though before we leave um, to give you guys another another look at it. But this is uh, this game is called Accident. <laughs> um, it's available on Steam. And yeah, on to the next scenario. All right, we're back in our office. Oh man, that was that was crazy. So complete it, uh, complete. So now, so the way this works, a uh, really quick look at uh, here's like basically the main area you're gonna be in. This is kind of like your little cubicle office. Uh, over here, you have your profiles. You can have different profiles if you want to do you know different profiles. Uh, you have your options in your laptop. Uh, you have a VR headset, which is actually the way that we go back. So all these accidents are accidents that, that are have already happened like in the past. Uh, and we're basically going back in our VR headset and reliving them and trying to solve what happened. Like each of these scenario, scenarios are cases that we're trying to solve. Down here we have our phone. We check our messages. We get messages from the editor, whoever the heck that is. Uh, we can go ahead and go to return. And then we have our little uh, folder here where we have our, all of our accidents. So I've already completed quite a lot of them. Uh, there's a tutorial one that actually very helps you pretty well. Uh, so the next one's gonna be cliffside accident. Uh, this one's August of 2014, time of day 1312. Uh, Trinette Pellerin was the first responder, and we have uh, one, two, three, four victims in this one. So I'm gonna be at the uh, Alpes de Haute Provence of France. So basically, we click on this disc, and the disc is gonna be inserted into the laptop, and that's gonna put us into the simulation, put the VR headset on, and out we go. All right, riding down the road here in France, beautiful view off our right side. In the mountains out here, I think this is out in the Alps, in the French Alps, beautiful area. I love flying out here as well. Very tight turns, you gotta be careful when you're driving out here. Um, but yeah, uphill, a very nice car we're in. Oh my God, look at that. A car is upside down. I see a car tilting off the side of the cliff. This looks really bad. This looks extremely uh, time sensitive. All right, so first we have to uh, put our hazard lights on and call. find our phone. Where's my phone? There's my phone and go ahead and call emergency services so they can be on the way and they can assist me in helping these people because basically we're going to stay on the phone with them uh, while we try to figure things out. Very nice, uh, very, very nice uh, scenery out here. Very nice the way they did that. Thank you. The team's on its way. Please stay on the line. All right, so first got to put out that fire. Let's go ahead and get outside. I know I have a fire extinguisher in my trunk. This is a very nice car. What is, what is my occupation? All right, let's go. So fire, is it, is it the fire? This is the fire. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. All right. Oh my God, the other car just fell off the cliff. And we failed. Inadequate, in, inadequate help. You did more harm than good. <laughs> 
All right, back on uh, in France, in the Alps, on our way out. So, uh, you know, hopefully there's not going to be any accidents or any cars up here. You know, just a nice little ride driving out to our little uh, our Alp vacation spot. I see a car upside down. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This looks bad. This looks bad. This looks really bad. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, 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 stop, pull over right here, and uh, we'll go ahead and put the hazards on, and get our phone, we'll call out emergency services. I would, I wish you would let me get out of the car while, uh, while I'm doing that. Alright, calling up emergency services, doesn't know what's going on. Alright, thank you. I'll stay on the line. Secure the car on the edge. Uh, I think I should do that first. How do I do that? Trunk open. Okay, that's all I can do. Uh, driver's door too dangerous. How am I supposed to secure the car on the... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, he fell over. Okay, let's get the fire extinguisher. Failed! Okay. <laughs> Alright, can I get out of the car? I can get out of the car. I don't know. Secure the car on the edge. How? How? With what? With what? Uh, uh, first aid? No, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, door is open. I can open a door. Okay. I can open your door. Can I get you out of there? No, 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 no! Alright, oh, we failed. I don't know how. How the heck am I supposed to secure that car? I don't have a freaking tether. We'll try that again. Right, there's gotta be like a tool or something. Can I like put it on my car? Let's see. What do we have? Go can I MacGyver out of here? We need to act quickly, prevent the car from falling and extinguish the flames. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pick up a stone. And what do I do with it? Do I hit it? Hit, hit the car with it? <laughs> what do I do with the stone? Oh, he's falling. He's dead. That's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's done. Okay, I have stones. What do I do with these stones? <laughs> what, do I, what do I do with the friggin'? Oh, I think I need to put them in the trunk. Ah. Okay, now we know exactly what to do. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, all right, open the trunk. Open the trunk. Put some stones in it. Stones in it. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Let's put another one in there. All right, I think I was gonna, I think I should be heavy enough. I'll put, I gotta hurry though, cause the other car's on fire. All right, cool. All right, go, 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 go. That's a nice car. All right, fire extinguisher. Run! All right, there we go. I hope this is a safe distance. Oh, we're out. We're freaking out. Please tell me you have an extinguisher back here. You do. Thank God. All right, all right, cool. Fire is out. Um, all right, more stones in the trunk. Where's more stones? Stones, stones stuck. Okay, well, that's stones. Where, where, where else can I get a stone in? There's lots of stones hanging out here. Stones, give me some stones. I got a pocket full of stones. Okay, well that's that's no help to me. If it's stuck, turn let's just turn the ignitions off. Let's just do that. All right, that's something I can do. All right, ignition off. Uh, can I get to your ignition? It's the remix to ignition. Oh, that looks bad. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Uh, okay, ignition off. And uh, I right, mark the accident. All right, so we get our our emergency triangles. We gotta hurry. Man, that is so freaking far. In most situations, put the triangle 50 meters behind the vehicles. All right, run, 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 run. 
So it's like we may have two people already dead, possibly. I know you have two in that flipped car, one in the red car, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this medical kit for later. And then one in the orange, so that's about four people. Where's the triangle? Put that down. I personally feel like I'm wasting time putting the triangles down. Like, I feel like that's that's costing me time that I could be saving a life. I right, assess the situation. Check if everyone's breathing. Oh, and please find out preci precisely where you are. We're sending a rescue helicopter. Okay, let's do that first because uh, the fast they can get here, the fast we can save these lives because I know that I, I can't keep them alive very long without without them. So we'll go ahead and hop on the sad nav, get that GPS coordinate out there. Or not GPS coordinate, but you know, whatever. And then we'll go check our victims. All right, so see if anybody's breathing. Uh, I think we need to check these guys down here who are upside down. Oh, it's a lady. Oh, no. Can you hear me, ma'am? Open up her airway. I don't hear any breathing. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, she has a very bad wound there. Very bad wound. I can't, how do I get out of here? Come on, hurry her up. We're in a time crunch here. Can you hear me, sir? Oh, he has a broken neck. I don't know if he's come back from that. Yeah, he's not breathing either. I don't know, we, we def I think we might be able to save her, but I don't know if we're gonna save him. All right, check on her, Ari Ariane. Can you hear me, ma'am? No. All right, take the seatbelt off. Can I take the seatbelt off? Open up the airway. I can't get the seatbelt off. Okay, she's breathing, beautiful. She is breathing. Whew, okay. Uh, check all Vic. I think I think I didn't finish checking her. Yeah, I think it's something else I didn't check. Oh, her leg. Oh, it looks bad. A bruise. All right. Now we need to check on this guy over here. Our lady information to the paramedics. Can I get to you? Yes, I can open this door. And uh, we'll check on Hugo. Oh my God, he's just standing there shaking. Are you okay? He's conscious. Okay, cool. Uh, let's help him out. All right, beautiful. Now uh, wait for help to arrive. Okay, cool. He's sitting there. Chilling like a villain. Uh, where do I go to help? Let's wait. Wait for help. Man, this looks bad, bad. Like, bad, bad. Alright, we got four people. One of the guys are alive. I think I have to go in my car and wait. Alright, wait for help. There we go. Whew, man. That was uh, something else. Here comes the whew, helicopter coming in. Alright, so now, uh, back to our other job, our actual job. Our job is technically not to, to save their lives. I mean, it is to save their lives, but our real job is to find out how this happened. So, I mean, again, I kind of like to kind of solve it before I even, you know, uh, look at the clues, but it's kind of hard to tell here. Um, only thing I can think of is possibly like a rock rolling down this hill um, and, and hitting him and hitting this car and causing it to flip over. Uh, or something like that. It is a tight road as well. He could have been driving too fast. I don't know. And this guy probably was trying to avoid the situation and went off. And then for her, she probably just smashed into... Yeah, it looks like she smashed into him at some point. So let's see. Um, so look at the clues. I like to start back from the triangle. You, a lot of times you might find some some clues way back here, like skid marks, things like that. Like there's a, there's a mark here. It looks like a pretty old skid mark there. I see a clue over here. What is that? Is that arrow elephant? A stone. Yeah, it looks that I would even call that relevant myself. See so if there's any clues over here. So I'm, I'm, oh, look, tire. A wheel. Unsufficient clue. Interesting. Why is that unsufficient? Why is a wheel way over here? Wait, did another car come? That's an old piece of a car. Oh, here's another clue. Uh, car debris. Sedan falls from cliff onto the street below. Oh man, that's worse than I than I thought that so apparently that sedan Must have fell off. Yeah, cuz that's his door Yeah, yeah, yeah go up. Okay Okay, so now we're up above the accident now 
uh, looking for clues up here. There's got to be a clue up here. So I, I believe that he must have drove off the side. Now, where is the area that he had? Okay, here's the skid marks. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a drop. That is a drop. Oh, man, I can't imagine. I can't freaking imagine. So, all right, so, so try to recreate this. So we go, you know, he's coming downhill, uh, down a pretty sharp turn and a pretty steep gradient down. I don't see anything on the side of the road that would uh, cause him to wreck, at least not yet. Got something over here. What is this? A rock with a piece of tire clue. So yellow sedan drives over a large rock and blows a tire. Oh, that's possible. I would have never guessed that, but that's possible. Uh, so he drives over a, a rock, uh, pops his tire, which is definitely going to make him go out of control, loses control of the car. All right, worst place. Worst case scenario happening right here. Loses control on a mountain in France. Look at that view, though. Anyways, uh, and then he skids off, obviously. All right, there's five clues. We found three. And then he falls all the way down there. Oh, my God. That is horrifying. That is horrifying. All right, so we're back down at ground zero, as I would call it. So, man, so, yeah, that, that actually makes all the sense now. So, Sedan comes down the mountain after popping a tire. Uh, probably falls, flips, thankfully comes to a stop or a screeching halt down here. Red car doesn't see him coming. Red car smashes into the side of, of this one, probably flipped him again. Um, and then the orange car was just trying to avoid the whole thing and he skids off to the side, which we have some skid marks to possibly prove that point. Yeah, Hugo brakes too hard and understeers onto Cliff's edge, which he almost ended up just like that sedan, except it wasn't a broken a pop tire that caused it. Uh, as for her, you can already see there's no skid marks at all behind this car, which means that she had no time to react, and she got caught right, like she hit that thing right immediately as it came down. So here's the impact point. Didn't even see it coming. Right, let's go check it out and see how we... So first, it starts off with the uh, yellow sedan drives over a large rock and blows a tire. Let's go back to number one. There we go. Blows a tire. Uh, and then he uh, loses control of the car. Falls off the mo mountain onto the street below. Uh, impacts with the red car. And then the orange car tries to avoid the wreck and understeers and almost goes off the hill himself. So finish scenario. There we go. Very nice. Uh, very horrific accident here. Let's see what happened to our survivors. Hopefully they all survived. Arian dead. Oh no. When emergency services were finally able to remove Arian from the car, it was already too late. She died either when the car fell down the hill or when the car crashed into them. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. Oh my god, that's horrible. Uh, Guillaume, I don't want to say it, Dubois. Uh, while his car was rolling down the hillside, he hit his its roof so hard that he broke his neck and died instantly. All right, so both of the flipping car died people all right so alive Bernice despite losing consciousness was not seriously injured during the accident she was revived shortly after arriving at the hospital uh, and left two days later after she contacted Dubas and helped them deal with their grief they remain close friends to this day okay so she was in the red car she is she did survive Hugo who was actually conscious took several hours to recover from phys 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 psychological shock that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff the incident Triggered severe acrophobia, fear of heights, that haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. That makes sense that you'd be afraid of heights after that, especially driving heights. But man, so we had um, two survivors and and two two deceased, which really sucks. Again, this game is very dark, <laughs> very dark, and it really. I'm gonna probably think back to this game uh, whenever I'm driving on a mountain again, but. Uh, Sorry that it, I'm sorry, guys, that it got so dark. I do apologize. Uh, hopefully, this was a bit interesting in some type of way, though. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed watching. Let me know if you'd like to watch uh, or see me do more scenarios. There's actually a lot more scenarios. I've only done two. Um, both of these were actually pretty challenging. Um, this one's actually easier than the first one. The first one was very, very time sensitive, and we had to really rush to get things done. And we failed multiple times. In fact, we failed this one too, but um, I didn't realize there was rocks to put in the trunk. But, um, you know. <laughs> crazy just crazy the game again is called accident it's available on steam it's early access and uh yeah let me know what you think uh until next time guys remember you have three choices give up give in or give it all you got peace love and god bless you i'll see you guys next time next video i'm heading back to the office